Barakat the Yahweh. Barakat the Yahweh. Barakat the Yahweh Shai. Barakat the Yahweh Shai. All praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Yahweh Kadash. A double honor to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone who taught us the truth and who rule well. Peace, love, say, taste, and mercy be unto the hope of the lack. And we're back again with another lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And we hope that it's edifying unto the elect hearers that are out there, that are throughout the four corners of the world, that are looking for these script, these these, these uh, videos, man. Okay. All right, for exhortation, you know, for uh, comfort, you know, and and for whatever reason, you know, the the spirit has you looking at these videos, man. Ultimately, to be edified and to be built back, be built up, you know. Yahweh right desire these these lessons are edifying, man. Okay. You know. And these uh, these lessons are not just comforting unto you; they're not just exhortation unto you, but also unto us. You know, and we're exhorted while we're doing it. Okay. You know, a lot of the times when you turn on video, uh, the the video camera to record a video, you don't know what you're gonna say. Okay. You know, and you may have a spiritual conversation before you turn on the the video to record or turn on the the recorder, and. You don't even have any scriptures prepared, but the spirit will provide the scriptures. You know, in this moment, hey, me and the brother were just talking about, you know, um, having a form of power. Okay. You know, and we have a form of power through prayer, man. Okay. All right. We have a form of power through prayer. And hey, the scripture says that hey, when you pray and hey, you believe the Lord can do it and he'll do it. Okay. You know, because we, we ultimately believe through faith. All right. Okay. So through our faith, faith. And we pray unto Yahweh by Shem Shai, and He made things happen for us, man. And He made things happen for us, you know. And we have the power to uh, to speak life, man. All right, we have the power to speak life, and the brother's gonna start off with this scripture right here. This is Proverbs uh, eighteen and twenty-one. Life and death are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. And that's the reason that you have to be care careful. Of the things that you are saying, all right, because there's power within your lips, man. There's power within the words that come out of your mouth. All right, you send out a vibration every time you speak, and that's the reason why, a hey, ultimately through doing these lessons, a hey, we're tearing down uh, Esau, Edom. Hey, because if you go to our uh, Second Corinthians, the fourth chapter, real fast, Baba Kashai. I'm sorry, the tenth chapter, Second Corinthians, the tenth chapter, in the fourth verse. All right, through the vibration of our lips and speaking his truth, and we're God. breaking down the strongholds God. of Esau Edom. We're tearing down his lies. All right, we're tearing down uh, the things that, that he has that gives him his power, man, on God. the left-hand side, which he has power through deceit, all right, through through lying, all right, through keeping people blind, all right, in obscurity. He has power in that. But guess what? Our power is more powerful than that. That's right. Go ahead. Second Corinthians 10 and 4. For, for the weapon of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Yahweh, pulling down the strongholds, casting down the imagination, and, e and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of Yahweh, and bring it into the captivity of every thought to the obedience of the Messiah. That's right, to the obedience. Obedience, right? God. To the obedience. So, just to give you an example of how you know, there's power within the vibration of the words that we speak. You know, so you have to ultimately be careful, man. All right. And um, oftentimes you may speak ill about yourself or towards yourself. Well, you got to understand that those things that you speak about yourself, that they remain within your subconscious. You know, it remains within your subconscious. So those things that are in your subconscious is going to be something that's fair right back to you. So if you t constantly telling yourself that you can't do something and you're destroying your confidence, man. All right, we can do a lot of things through our faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. With our faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we can move mountains, man. Can you grab the uh, the scripture um, uh, about the mustard seed? God. All right? And all, is, all it takes is, is faith as a grain of a mustard seed. All right, and that's just a little bit of faith. And with that little bit of faith, of course, you're going to cultivate it. You're going to grow gotcha. it. All right, because you want your, your your faith ultimately to be to be strong. You want it to grow. All right, and that comes through the hearing of the word. So that means that you got to constantly study. 
All right, that means that you gotta constantly uh, uh, watch videos. Okay. All right, it's just like it's just like um, planting planting a, 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 a actual seed. You're not just gonna plant the seed in the ground and hope and expect it to grow on its own, man. All right, no, you're gonna water it. All right, you're gonna trim it. You're gonna prune it. You're gonna you're gonna cultivate it. You're gonna take care of it until it grows and there's fruit on that tree. Well, that's the same thing that you have to do with your faith. All right. But it only takes faith as a grain of a mustard seed. All right. If you have that faith, then you can do you can do things, man, because there's power within that faith and there's power within your prayers. Go ahead. Yeah. This is Matthew 13 and 31. A narrow parable he put forth unto him, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a grain of a mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field, which indeed it is the least of all seed, but when it is grown, it is the greatest among herbs. Yep. And become a tree, so that birds of the air come and lodge in its in the branches thereof. Yeah, so that's that's the point, you know. So all is it all it take is is uh, the the faith as small as a mustard seed, man. That's it. Uh, what about the other scripture that says that um. If you say into this 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 mountain, be plucked up and be planted in the sea. But you gotta believe it, man. And then not to sound cliche or corny, hey, if you believe it, you receive it, man. You think all of those people that receive, you know, miracles from Yahweh Shai, you know, receive 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 them without applying faith? Every time Yahweh Shai did something, he said, well, guess what? Your faith has made you whole, man. Precept. So when you pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, when you pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and you believe that he can do things, guess what that is? That's power, man. Go ahead. Uh, this is John 6 and 36. The spirit quickened and the flesh profit, it profit nothing. But the words I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. God. But... There are some of you that believe not. For Yahweh Shai knew at the beginning who would th who th they were, they that, were not that, would, that would not believe. Yep. Who should betray him? Therefore I say unto you, no man cometh to me except they was given unto my father. That's right. And from that time So of, ultimately you you won't believe unless the Lord gives you that, that spirit of faith. God. Alright? For by grace are you saved through faith and not of yourselves. It is a gift of the Heavenly Father. Yeah. You know? And uh, I think there's another one in the book of Romans that speaks about the gift of grace. You know? So so that's faith and grace is a gift from the Most High Heavenly Father, man. So if you believe and you have faith, then ultimately that's because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh wanted you to. If not, he would have blinded you. And there's a lot of Israelites that are blind at this moment. So therefore, not having faith, you won't be able, you don't have any power, man. Huh? You don't have any power. Why? Because you don't have faith. Can you grab the one about the mountain? But just showing you that we do have power. You know, uh, I was being a little silly, you know, and um, I was trying to make a phone turn on with my mind. And I'm like, no, nah, I, 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 I ain't got the spiritual powers yet. And I was like, I was like, I ain't got no power, man. And and physically, we we don't have any power, you know. But the time is coming where we are gonna have spiritual powers, and we'll be able to do, you know, miraculous things, things that that uh, uh, average man would marvel at. And I said, but you know what? I do have power. And I said, well, I have power through my faith and through praying to Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. So when you pray to Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, things can happen if you believe, man. Things can happen if you believe, but you have to believe, man. So you have to pray to the Lord to help your faith. Hey, the disciples did it. They prayed to Yahweh Shah. They said, please help our unbelief. Uh, Go ahead. Um, um, uh, um, I got the one with the fake tree. This is Matthew 21 and 18. Now the morning he entered into the city, he hungered. And when he saw the fig tree in the way, he came to it and found nothing thereon but leaves. He said... Let no fruit grow on this on thee henceforth forever. And presently, and presently the tree withered away. 
And when the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, How soon as the fig tree was away, and Yahweh shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, If ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and it shall be done. So isn't that power? Isn't that power? But we have that, that form of power through our faith. And Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh So whatsoever you pray unto Yahweh, you ask in the name of Yahweh by way of faith, and the Lord will grant it unto you, just as long as you don't doubt. You know, and when you doubt, that's when things don't happen for you, man. All right, hey, can you grab uh, James real fast? James, the fifth chapter, the 17th and the 18th verse. All right, because when when um, Elijah the prophet, which Elijah the prophet had power, I right, reread about the magnificent things that he was uh, able to do, right? All right, how he um, he prayed and the, and the, and the heavens uh, rained not. And But what did he do? He did it through faith. Did, uh, did he not? So uh, let's 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 go to the, let's visit this scripture. Go ahead. This is James five and seventeen. Elijah was a man subject like passion, as, subject to like passion, subject to like passion, as we are. Which means what? What is the passion? The, the, that's that's speaking about him him suffering ultimately, but it also means that that the uh, apostles and disciples were prophets, just as we are. We are prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit. God. So, so Elijah did that through his faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. He did it through faith. But the scripture says what? It says that he prayed. So he had faith that the Most High Heavenly Father would, if he prayed until Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that the Lord would shut up the heavens. And he had faith again that if he prayed until Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that the Lord would open the heavens, and the Lord did it. Now, is that not a form of power? Yeah. That's power, man. You know, so we may not have, you know, the, uh, the spiritual powers on the level to where we're able to levitate in the air, or to, you know, where we're able to um, walk on water, but hey, the day is going to come where you're going to have to apply faith in order to do those things. And it will happen. Just as long as you believe and you don't doubt. Uh, there's, a, there's a scripture that says, Whatsoever you ask without doubting. Let me see if, if uh, we can find that real fast. Well, that was uh, um, still in uh, Matthew um, 21 and uh, 22 or 3. If you, can, if you can find it. Uh, uh, um, it was in uh, there where I was at. Uh, 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 he say, uh, 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 this Matthew uh, 21 and 22, and all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing that ye shall receive. What's that right there? That's like a chariot, brother. What's that right there, brother? That's like a chariot. Is that a chariot? That's a chariot. That ain't no plane. <laughs> Bro, it's not plane. That's a chariot. There ain't no plane. I don't see no lights on it. I don't see no lights blinking up under it's it. It's just right there, bro. That's right. not a helicopter. That's not that's that's a chariot. Hey, call hello, you like your house, Brock and Yahweh Shai. Well, Brock and Yahweh Shai. Brock and Yahweh Shai. Can you guys record it? Can you record it? Oh, no, time. Uh, let me go. Oh, no, that's a, that's a plane. You sure? Uh, yeah, I see the blinking lights on it. Yep. Oh, kind. Okay. Yeah. I didn't see it at first, guys. Hey, it looked like one. Hey, but that, that shows you that our minds are in the right place. Hey, we want to get the hell out of here. Yeah, right. I say look up for your for your redemption draw of diamond. Uh -huh. And we know that that's the way that we're getting out of this place. Uh -huh. You know, so, hey, we happy when we see them. You know, but we know that we understand that Esau got to bring that mark of the beast first. And that the time of Jacob's trouble has to happen. And then that's when, you know, um, we'll be delivered out of the time of Jacob's trouble. Time, but you are um, trying to get the fuck up out of this place. That's the reason why we're doing this. Work. Can, you, can you read that last scripture again? Okay, kind. This is um, Matthew. Uh, let me find it again. Matthew. And uh, to, to mention another thing too, uh, Revelation eight chapter. God. It's gonna be our prayers 
that Yahu that goes up to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and it is our prayers that's going up to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, okay. that's leading Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to to send his son to deliver us and to also bring thermonuclear destruction, you know, on this land. Okay. So we we got power through the form of faith and prayer. Okay. All right, <laughs> that's that's power right there. That's spiritual power. All right, but the day is going to come when the Lord grants his men to have actual spiritual power. Huh. All right, now you want to move like Goku? All right, lightning speed to the point where it looked like sparks flying? That's going to happen one day. All right, you want to be able to run like the Flash? That's going to happen one day, man. And it's not going to be CGI or a Hollywood movie that it happens in. All right, you want to be able to shoot laser beams out of your eye like Superman? The scripture says that that's going to happen. You want to be able to mount up and fly? Well, you better believe that's going to happen. All right, all of these things will happen. You want to be able to heal and have healing powers? All right, you want to be able to lay your hands on the sick and heal them? Guess what that's done through? That's done through faith. Okay. And it's going to happen. All right, the scripture says, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. All right, and men are going to be able to do things to do their faith. All right, do that faith. And, and if you need a healing, guess what? You better believe and not doubt. Because the scripture says if you believe, <laughs> you know, without doubting, then those things will happen unto you. Go ahead. And this is Matthew 21 and 22. All In all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing, ye shall receive. And, and when the... When the, when the Oh no, that's that's going on something else. God, that's going on something so that's else. That's it. It says, "Believe and you shall receive." God. <laughs> and that's a that's a that's a that's a saying right there. Believe and you shall receive. God, you know. <laughs> and that's that's power, man. That's power. All right, we got power through faith. I mean, how about Shmuel Shai can do many things for us if we believe that he can. Now, not doubting. Let's see. Um, oh, 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 oh. I got it. Uh, Presence of Saints. Want that? The, uh, you said the what? The prayers of the Saints. Yeah, this is uh, uh, first, first Timothy. Grab real fast. Um, first Timothy's one and eight. One and eight. First Timothy one and eight from four from you sounded out the word. You got it in the blue letter. No, I Look get up it. the word doubting in the blue letter. Once you read that scripture, I get it in the blue letter. Timothy 2 and 8, Salaki. So oh, 2 and 8. Okay. I couldn't really see it because, uh, you know, got one hand on the steering wheel. Okay. I got you. Doing, doing 80 in a, in, a, in a 60 fucking take, and I ain't seen the Akim in a minute, you know? <laughs> God. Being silly, man. Uh, 1 Timothy 2 and 8. I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubt and without, doubt. Without wrath and without doubt. Doubt. He said everywhere praying. And that's what that's what we're doing through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, man. Brothers are when you when you when you do these videos, these videos are are sacrifices. Alright, this is praise, man. Alright, and praise is what? It's prayers. Because when we do these videos, hey, we earnest, earnestly believe the things that we're saying in these videos. And in our spirit, the, the Most High Heavenly Father knows that we want these things to come, man. Uh -huh. And eventually, he's going to fulfill them. All right, when we talk about, you know, getting out of America and destruction and all of that. And when we 
Well, we're showing faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. So, so, and, and not only that, you know, the actual prayers that you're praying, and Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is hearing you, and these things are, are going up unto the Most High Heavenly Father. And before his son, Yahweh Shai. Real fast. Um, oh, you said strong G. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 Revelation, the eighth chapter, after you read that. Uh, 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 um, the uh, uh, strong definition, uh, 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 without discussion, well, without doubting, uh, 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 discussion. Doubting is discussion, consideration, implication, purpose, uh, debate, dispute, or imagination, doubtful. Reasoning. You ain't got to read all of those, bro. Okay. Yeah, just hit the, just the, <laughs> okay. the main the main ones. The okay. point. You know. Okay. What you want me to get now? Uh, Revelation, uh, the eighth chapter. Okay, eight. Okay, God. Okay, okay. uh, I usually get this one when when I, when I do the video. It's power in our voices. It's power. Okay. In our prayers. It's power, man. It's power. And you better believe it. All right? And, uh, I also got that scripture uh, of Toby. Uh, okay. Uh, We're going to end it on this one, though. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. This is... Uh, 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 um, because we're almost to the destination. Okay. Yeah. Unless... Um, Grab the Tobit one first and then grab this one. Okay, I grab the Tobit one first. They got a crazy over here. Crazy piece. Uh, that's Tobit 12. And I think it's. Uh, this is uh, Tobit 12 and 18. I'm Raphael one of the seven angels, which present the prayers of the saints and go in and out before the glory of the Holy One. And when they were troubled, they fell on their faces for they feared and said unto them, fear not, for it shall go well with you to, to praise Yahweh therefore. You know, hey, hey. Go ahead, keep going, bro. Don't stop, break it down, but, brother. Uh, but you know, hey, it, it go well for us to praise Yahweh. Matter of fact, it's a uh, 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 further up. It say never slack in praising the Lord. You know, always uh, 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 um, be. Uh, uh, matter of fact, let me go up. Uh, uh, um, you know, a uh, 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 prayer. Uh, pr uh, this is Tobit. Tw okay. Keep going. Uh, 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 prayers good with fasting, alms, and righteousness. A little righteousness is better than uh, uh, much. Unrighteousness is better. It's better to give alms than lay up gold. Uh, 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 um, uh, for alms don't deliver from death and shall purge away all sins. Those that exercise alms and righteousness shall be filled with life. Uh, 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 but I'm gonna just go straight to the point where we said uh, uh, what we was going to. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, this is Tobit 12 and 8 uh, 15. I am Raphael. Uh, uh, um, one of the seven angels of heaven that which present the prayers of the saints, which go in and out before the Holy One, the glory of the Holy One. And that's one of the seven uh, archangels, one of the the, the the great angels that uh, the, before the Lord. And, and they go, he goes in and out and bring the prayers of the saints unto the, to, to the Most High. And the only, only prayers that he brings to the saints are the prayers of the children of Israel, the, the elect. Or the one third, the one that uh, that 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 uh, that that, that, hey, that follows walking the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord, and, and not turn the ear from it. And but let me go to the uh, uh, last scripture that we was gonna get. And, and in Revelation eight and three, and another angel came and stood in the altar, having a golden cistern, and was given up to him much incense that he should offer it with the prayers of the saint upon the golden altar, which was before the throne, and the smoke of it, of the incense, came with the prayers of the saints, sent it up before Yahweh out of the angel's hand. And the angel took the sister and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it onto the earth. And there were the voices of the thundering and the lightning and earthquakes. And, and, and 
And, and hey, that's the power of our prayers right there. Hey, our power, our prayers is going to be uh, 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 um, thundering, lightnings, and earthquakes upon this earth. It's going to be thermonuclear destruction. Kind. So our prayers are going to the Most Holy Father, and he's going to bring destruction upon this place Using in, our in honor of us begging him kind. go to judge this place and, and to avenge us upon, you know, these Edomites, you know, kind. and the wicked of this nation. So Yahweh Bashmi Awashai is definitely hearing our prayers, and we have faith, and things are going to happen through that faith that we have, man. We have kind. power through that. You know, so with that, we truly hope that this lesson was edifying. And until the next time, it's Shalom. Shalom.